Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with the HIP mod as the Kingdom of Aragon. In the last episode we managed to steal the Duchy of Navarra from our relatives over here in Castile, um, which is pretty good. Um, we also declared war, a holy war for a duchy here, so that's been going pretty well. We've won a few battles, but we're not quite uh, finished with that yet, so let's continue. Yeah, we have to pay interest on our loans, apparently all the time. If Lorenzo is nowhere to be seen, you can always find him in the courtyard playing with his swords. Okay. Turn him into a great knight so he can be brave, diligent, or proud. And he's brave. Okay. Good. Apparently he's a considerably better character than his brother, my direct heir. But isn't that always the way? Oh, we can get some technology. Um, let's get Majesty. Uh, sure, that will do for now. Uh, we are unfortunately losing a lot of money while we're at war here. So. It would be a good idea for us to end it as soon as possible, if we can. France has called us into a war for somebody's claim on somewhere. Well, I'll accept. So this um, being uh, in a budget deficit, I think, does it affect the morale of our armies, or...? Is that not a thing? Uh, my wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Doubts beset me. Hmm. Anyway, we'll just um, keep sieging a few holdings here and hope he doesn't attack me. should get us to 100% pretty soon. Oh, a tithe. That's actually quite helpful. And... Sure, I will guess we'll get castle infrastructure. That's fine. And I'll just leave them all be. Let's continue on to his capital. set it over here to try and siege this back. Mission to Burgos has been a success. Good. Now well, hopefully we siege this before he gets that back. So I had a grandson who is ill. And the truce is expiring, which is fine. And I had a son of apparently questionable parentage, but um, looks legitimate to me. Ah, he assaulted that holding. Alright. He's assaulting all of them back. Well, that's no good. Good. My ambition to convert a province was fulfilled again. And now I have no provinces to convert, so um, I guess I'll take the ambition to become exalted among men. My niece became a charismatic negotiator. Good. Well, we can't really afford to give him patronage, so I'll just ignore him and lose more money. So 
Such a wonderful bouquet, the complex blend of flavors spreads over my tongue just as the warmth spreads in my belly. These monks certainly know how to make a fine wine. So I can have a 50% chance of gaining learning, or I could also possibly gain drunkard, which I don't want. Or I can say thanks, but no thanks. So let's do that. More tithes. Keep doing that, please. My beloved niece is concerned she's still not married. Okay, well... She's not going to give us any alliances. So I guess we'll just marry her off to somebody at random. How about you? Okay, we want another, another siege there. It looks like um, England has pretty much won his revolt. So that's good. Uh, it looks like William the Conqueror died, so we now have a new King of England. Who we're still allied to. He's my brother-in-law. So that's good for him. We're up to 80% in our war. So hopefully another siege or two here will get us the rest of the way. He's trying to catch this Castilian army. We'll leave them all be. Uh, that did get us to 100%, so let's quickly enforce our demands here. Which leaves us with a lot of extra holdings we need to give away. Um, actually, other than doing that, we can click this... Where is it? Distribute recently acquired land. For each recently acquired county in your domain that is not within your capital duchy, you will be prompted about whether to automatically distribute its titles until you are no longer at your domain limit. Okay, well, let's try this and see how it works. Duchies will never be automatically granted. That's good. So it just applies to the three recently acquired titles, so that's good. Uh, yes. Uh, is this going to grant it to the same guy? Apparently it is. So we don't want to give him multiple titles. Uh, that's going to give it to a different guy though, apparently. Let's see how that worked. So there's this guy and this guy. So we still have this county, which we should give away. And also the lower titles. We'll just do this one random randomly, or manually, not randomly. Not in prison, they can be married, not already a ruler. I wonder if it would have actually given that county to the same guys it gave the first one to. It probably wouldn't have. We'll maybe try it again the next time. I would like to be able to trust it so that I can avoid having to manually give out every title we take in a holy war, but... Ooh, this guy's pretty good. This county. Congratulations. Uh, the duchy here is not created, so we'll, we'll just uh, not create that for the moment. We'll now that we have complete control over Aragon, we shall claim our rightful lands once more. I become the new du jour liege of the title, uh, uh, the du jour liege title of the duchy of. Of two duchies, okay. All right. Um, oh, nice. Okay. So I guess we get to expand our uh, digital claims. Excellent. Well, that's good to know. Well, we're still probably going to take them by holy war instead of digital war, but still, it's good to have the option, I suppose. Uh, okay, we still have our ducal claim for that county. Um, my son doesn't hold any land, but that's fine. And our vassals are restless. 
And we could... Oh, we have Righteous Imprisonment on this guy. Is this the guy that we wanted to... revoke his things before? I think it was. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's try to righteously imprison him. We can take away his problematic uh, title. Or we can just leave him in our prison. Since we are apparently too good at imprisoning people when we would actually rather that they uh, revolted. Though him being the leader of a plot doesn't give us the right to take this, no. We could do it at the cost of 20 tyranny, but I would rather not. Okay, Lorenzo is getting really good at swords. And France won his war. Okay. That's good. So my son Lorenzo uh, did not actually turn out that great as a character, so... Not too disappointed that he's not going to inherit. We can get him married for maybe a nice uh, alliance, though. Maybe we'll betroth him to the Princess of the HRE. Sounds good. Doesn't hurt to have lots of uh, powerful allies. Uh, let's see what's going on elsewhere, shall we? So we still have our lucky ruler up here in Alba. Uh, doing okay. Uh, it looks like Wales is united. I'm not sure if it starts that way in this bookmark. It could do. But if not, well done, Mr. King of Wales. Um, Norway and Sweden looking relatively good. And um, does Croatia start out looking this strong in this bookmark? I don't even know. I should probably check it out. I think the Roman Empire doesn't start out owning this land anyway. All the way up in uh, Italy there. And the Seljuks, of course, are looking uh, extremely large and scary over there. We probably never come into contact with them. Uh, this kingdom, Gallic Volhin, or however you might pronounce it, is looking pretty large over there too. Alright. So, um, we have our Holy War cooldown for another three years. I wonder if we should just declare a du jour war. I think since he holds these counties directly, uh, we would just gain them ourselves. We wouldn't vassalize him. Maybe. But we would vassalize the lower holdings, of course, which would have Muslim holders. Hmm. A large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Okay. We're going to get a free courtier. Tell us more about the mythical realm of Hindustan. And an intriguer named Michael appears at my court. A completely average character. Even below average. Oh well. So the other thing we could do right now is try to revoke Rossello again. Uh, I'm planning a special occasion with my lover, but my wife is quite insistent on alternate plans. Who is the more important to me, my lover or my wife? Uh, let's spend time with my wife. So, the danger here is, of course, the Duke of Toulouse swooping in again. So we'd have to make sure we get an army of our own in to that county uh, pretty quickly. Our own levy is looking pretty good, though. 
In fact, we have 12k compared to his um, 10k, so not a huge advantage in terms of levy there. I think if we got there first, though, we could be okay. Alright, I'm just going to try and do it. Um, no one will object. He might just um, submit to the revocation, of course. But he didn't. Um, Alright, let's uh, get in there quickly then. We'll just go straight in with uh, my domain troops because they are already at full morale. Yeah, and of course Toulouse has taken his opportunity. And it looks like that battle is going to go in our favour probably, so we'll just send everyone else in too. And we'll just have to hope he doesn't want to attack us into the mountains. The enemy warrior thrusts at you, but you manage to dodge his attack. Now is the perfect time to strike when the unfortunate man is vulnerable. Haha, take that, you shout before finishing him off. Okay. Good. Alright, we won that battle. Oh, and he's just giving up. Oh, no he's not. He wants a white piece. No. I'm not taking a white piece. But now we're uh, happily sitting on his county with almost all of our army. So we shouldn't have any trouble from Toulouse. And this one siege should get us to 100%. No matter what I do, my sweetheart never seems happy, complaining that we never do anything exciting together, and sulks when I tell her I have too much to do to be able to entertain her all the time. Having a lover is more hard work than I thought. Throw a big party? Um, let's not spend gold unnecessarily. We're not already charitable, though. Take her to do something dangerous like hunting? Um, is there a chance of us being wounded? It doesn't say. Or we can gain greedy. Well, let's try hunting. And we'll pay interest on our loans. And of course we are losing money again because of our very high levy upkeep. But hopefully this war will be over very quickly and we can go back to saving up money to pay off our loans. This one seed should hopefully do it. And it did. Okay, so now I can revoke his title. And I can disband my expensive soldiers. And we're up to our domain limit, so that's good. Um, we only have this county left to get before we have the entire duchy of Barcelona, which is nice. And we should be actually making a positive income now. If we wait till the next month. Cold to arms from France against our other ally, the King of England. I see. I guess we'll accept. I think it's more important that we stay allied with France than with England. I guess it's over this county, or is this one county? It is. Well, I'm sure France can handle it. 
And our balance is up to 10 gold per month, so that's good. And we lost a duke, who I guess was also my spy master. So let's appoint this guy, we'll send him to study technology over in Constantinople. And uh, let's stop here for this episode, so thanks for watching, and join me again next time.